Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. Look, y'all. Y'all know a segment we about to get into. We about to get into the sad, sad. segment. And I already told y'all. I'm about to review all the John Wicks out of order. We did two. Now we jumping into four. Clearly I like even numbers. Been hot. But this movie right here, John Wick, chapter four. It was a... Uh, it was oddly okay. Some things has happened, I'm like... You know what? I'm tired of this. I was like, now nah, this is just straight goofiness. But other than that, I mean, it did fairly well. You know, they always have great actors, you feel me? Which I'm going to give you some of the cast. You know what I mean? I'm going to give you the stats. Uh, and then I'm going to give you the plot. And, I mean, John Wick gave me what I wanted. Man, I mean, it's a action thriller. It gave me the action. It gave me the thriller. Okay? Now, let me give you the stats. Then the cast. So, IMDb gave it a 7.7, while Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 94%. And the people gave it an 87%. I gave this a smooth 80%, so frick the people, I understand. I get it. You know what I mean? I gave this a smooth 80. Because there are some parts where I'm going to say in the plot where I was like, y'all got to be kidding me. Y'all got to be kidding me. Now, let me give you some of the cash. You already know Keanu Reeves. He is John Wick with the stick. Bow, bow, bloop, bow. You feel me? Then they had, you know what I mean, an RP to Lance Reddick. You feel me? He was, y'all know who he is. I don't need to tell y'all some of these characters because y'all know who they are already. You feel me? Some new characters came in. Donnie Yen, he played Kane. He was like, uh, he was the, the the blind samurai. And every time I saw this character, you know what? I'm going to save it for the plot. You know what I mean? He was like a bad, good guy in a sense. You feel me? Then the, 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 the ultimate villain, which was played by Bill Skarsgård, was Marquez Vincent. He was like the head of the Empire, the table they called it or whatever. He was a weak ass bad guy. What? I thought he was tight as first, cause I was like, oh, he's about to be super badass, you feel me? And, and the way he did, and this is a new character too, played by Shamir Anderson. His name is the tracker. And the way he stabbed Burham was like, yo, you want this deal? Ah, uh, yeah. Write it in blood. I was like, bro, about to be tough. Boy, it was weak. He was weaker than baby shit. I'm like, man. Kane was a better bad guy than bruh. The blind samurai. Man. Then you had, you know, familiar characters as Winston, uh, Shamuza Ko Koji, which was played by Haruyuki Sonata, you feel me? That was in the third one, which I'm gonna cover uh next. But yeah, any I mean, you know what I mean? Lauren Fishburne, he was in there. Browry King is some of the characters recurring, okay? Now, you know what's next? The plot. And um, like I said, this gave me what I wanted. It gave me action, it gave me thriller. Um the movie was two and a half, almost three hours long. You feel me? And I will say this. I never thought I would say this about a John Wick movie ever. But um, y'all had 30 minutes of dialogue before I heard a gunshot. What? I ain't gonna lie. I was impressed and disappointed at the same time. I'm like, wait a minute. Am I watching the same movie? I had a... 30 minutes worth of dialogue, and I ain't heard a gunshot, no fight, no punch was thrown. I was like, oh, okay. And then they did what I thought they were going to do. They gave us all our dialogue in the beginning. 
Because they were like, after that, F all that dialogue. We get into the action. And yes, they got straight into the beef after that. A lot of action was happening. Bow, bow, swords. I think a shirkin was thrown. I think, bro, uh, John Wick killed somebody with some tissue. Uh, it was a, or it was a paper. No, that's what it was. And I'll be damned. <laughs> you know what? He used one of these things right here for the potters. It's a card I'm holding in my hand. And he slashed somebody's face. Slashed him up. He slashed a character played by Scott Atkins, and he played Killer. I was like, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Because it's right. Oh, I've been, I've been paper cut by a card. I'm like, damn, them things are sharp if you know how to use them. John Wick with the cards, not with the stick. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. But, yeah, basically, they got into the beef. And one of the things, I'll just give give you, like, a, uh, just a short plot. He basically is still, um, he still excommunicated John Wick. Everybody's after him. Um, Winston, you know, he was the one to be like, all right, bro, you, you cool in my book because you helped me. But the whole nation, the, 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 the table, whatever, the emperor, pirate, whatever they want to call themselves, is still trying to murder John Wick. You feel me? Winston went to Marquez, and this one, his character come in because he's the head of all of the everything. And he's like, yo, John Wick is worth 20 million. And y'all didn't get the job done. And he popped Lance Reddick. And I was like, damn, bro, why they killed, why they killed, bro? I was like, hold on, man, like, and it, it, it made sense because, um, I don't know, were they initially going to kill off Lance Reddick's character or did they do it because he, he actually passed away in real life? So they had to end the character because the, you know, he probably... That's what I think, because the way they did it, it's, it felt all of a sudden. It just didn't feel cohesive. You feel me? Um, but yeah, off them. And then, like, within that 30 minutes of dialogue, they, they killed another black man, too. And I was like, hold on, bro. Hold on now. Uh, is this how? Is this the route we going? We going to kill off all the black people <laughs> and John Wick? And then John Wick ended up popping a white dude, and I felt... I know it's gonna sound effed up, but I felt a little better. I was like, okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be equal equal opportunity killing. Okay? It's EPK. Equal equal E O K. I say E P K. E O K. Equal opportunity killing. I was like, okay, back to the back to the John Wick I like where everybody getting murked. I was like, oh, y'all trying to send a message, huh? <laughs> nah, but then uh, bruh ended up killing, uh, 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 Sharon, you feel me? Lance Reddick character. And then the tracker character come in and basically what he trying to do is keep John Wick alive to up the price. It's like his investment. But then he felt, he felt John Wick was like, oh man, this my bruh cause he saved my dog. Oh, you know how John Wick is with dogs. He love him. And that's what happened. He saved the tracker dog because the tracker about him and somebody about kill his dog, and he saved the dog, and then now they all cool and stuff like that. Whoop the freaking dude! <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then they uh the blind blind man samurai Kane. He was uh homies with um with uh I mentioned with Shamaza Koji. They were homies back in the day, and now they fight and all that. And he, like, yo, Kane was was tight. He was murking everything in, in sight. And he was doing the John Wick thing where he, like, paralyzed somebody and be like, look, you don't want no more of this action, so sit your ass down so you can stay alive. He said that to uh, Shimmer's daughter or whatever, because she was a fighter, too. She got, she was the only one got shot out of the main characters. I didn't understand it at times. Like, 
Bro, they were shooting a lot of bullets. On, they were hitting people. I'm like, what the hell? Do these suits have armor? They have bad aim. Like, some of the bad guys had terrible aim. Then they had these armor things. And I was like, oh, okay, they got armor. Then the suits had armor. I'm like, what is going on? But the main thing that was getting on my damn nerves, okay? And I know I'm going off topic with the, about the, the cane thing, you feel me? And the, the, look, it, the main thing that was getting on my nerves was how they were shooting. I saw John Wick with the stick shoot like this. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. He was bow, 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 bow. I'm like, bro, he didn't hit nothing. The bad guy's coming in like this. Bow, 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 boom, bow, bow. You like, what are y'all doing? Are y'all trying to just, are y'all trying to just show yourself up with how many gunshots y'all could have in the movie? Huh? Cause a lot of that shit was unnecessary. I was like, bro, what the hell? This is not the John Wick that I like. This is goofy. I felt that was goofy. Another. Another part, okay, let me get back to the Bly Simmer. Kane, he was the best bad guy. The the thing about it with the table or whatever, you had to sacrifice something to be a part of the stuff. And he sacrificed his eyesight. The tracker man, he sacrificed his hand for the moment because he had the knife. In it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like Yeah. The blind samurai. He was he was he was that guy. And he was actually friends with John Wick. They had the very end, uh, they had the little standoff where they were supposed to shoot each other. They shot each other a couple of times, and they had a plan, and then the gun didn't go off, and then the Marquis dude was like, oh, pow, John Wick, you're on the floor now, I'm about to kill you. And then he pops him, and then he's out the freaking whatever they call they damn click or whatever, and bruh dies on the damn freaking steps outside of the building. Jesus Christ. I done seen John Wick get hit by a car, shotgun bullets, AK-47 bullets, 9mm bullets. He done got hit with a sword, a goddamn dagger. He's been hit with everything. He fell out of a two-story building multiple times, got ran over by cars, and all that. And he finally gets what he wants. And dies on the damn freaking steps. They bury him next to his wife. I was, I, I was mad. I was pissed off. I was like, ain't no goddamn way he did all that and died right there. You mother effers. But I mean, no more John Wick. It's over. Ain't, what, they gonna have John Wick from the dead? He gonna rise up? Be a zombie? Uh, bah, bah, bah. He still, he a zombie still popping people with guns. Ain't this about a hitch? Bro, out here stabbing people with pencils still, and you a zombie. Zombie wick. God damn. I will say this. This Okay, that, that's the whole plot. That's the end. I will say this. This is my last thing. This movie was really good. I, I told you, it gave me action thriller, but some of it was goofy. And it's another goofy thing that, that, that I had to say. When they had the point when, bruh, was using them nunchucks. He was out here trying to be like Bruce Lee. John John Lee. You feel me? Bruce Wick. That was the weakest ninchuck scene I ever seen in my life. What? What the hell was Keanu Reeves doing? I ain't even call you John Wick. You was Keanu Reeves in that scene. That was the weakest nunchuck action scene I ever seen. Keanu Reeves was moving so slow. He was doing the nunchucks like this. He used... After he did it, he did the... I'm like, oh my god, bro. This is weak. This is a weak nunchuck scene. Oh, it was garbage. Oh, it was garbage. Oh, 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 oh. Stick to the gunplay. Oh my god, man. I love nunchucks, but that made me want to be like, you know what? I I don't want to, I don't want to ever, I I would never want to use nunchucks ever in my life. I mean, Michelangelo is my favorite Ninja Turtle. After seeing that, I was like, you know what? I'm a Donatello's fan now. What? 
Bruce Lee nunchuck scenes was the best scenes I ever seen after seeing that nunchuck scene with Keanu Reeves. I was like, you know what? I I I, I hate all Bruce Lee nunchuck scenes because now I'm just disappointed in nunchucks. I'm joking, y'all. I love Bruce Lee nunchuck scene, but you get my drift. God damn, it was weak. <laughs> Other than that, besides the ducking like this shooting, the weak ass nunchuck scenes. And John Wick dying at the very end at the freaking steps. He couldn't just walk to his house and die. Or became a little older and died in peace somehow. Other than that, this I, I like this movie. This is pretty good. You know what I mean? Once again, this was a... Uh, eh, eh, no more John Wicks, please. Don't don't come out with a John Wick 5 and bruh, busting through the damn crack. Like, I ain't done yet. I done heard a dog go, bar, bar. <laughs> you're like, a dog is in harm. You know me. I'm back at it. He's like, bruh. <laughs> this is John Wick. Chapter 4. The end.